What's going on everybody, Afflicted Gamer here back with another Player Unknowns Battlegrounds video brought to you from the Xbox One. So we finally got the next update, patch notes number 9, and I'm going to go ahead and read these off to you guys. So if you do enjoy the video, drop a like on it, it's much appreciated, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more PUBG content. And I try not to mess anything up because it is 4 in the morning, I just got up to make this video. So here we go. Xbox players, first and foremost, thank you for your patience and perseverance over the last few weeks. We recognize and fully understand the challenges while playing through some of the more impactful issues and appreciate your persistence and continued support throughout. We have been hard at work on this patch and we wanted to take the time necessary to ensure stability before rolling it out into Xbox Game Preview. This update brings a number of fixes that you've been asking for alongside continued optimization, stability, and UI improvements. My goodness. We've also included initial support for game DVR where you can enable automatic recording of gameplay highlights, find out more information about game DVR, and using Upload Studio at support.xbox.com. So that in itself is really cool. A lot of people had to turn that off in order just to play the game which is pretty unfortunate so the patch will be live at 6 p.m kst 1 a.m psc 10 a.m cet so it should be live right now you should be able to download it don't forget to restart your xbox after the patch goes live in terms of gameplay introduce multiple pre-match starting locations in order to optimization both server and game client performance weapons are removed from the starting island prior to match starting Pretty happy about that again game dvr is now supported for automatic recording of gameplay highlights this feature must be enabled within the options and settings menu on your xbox we continue to listen to your vehicle feedback and have lowered the damage taken from objects through the world such as rocks trees and uneven terrain that's great because you know if you hit a tree or something by accident you lose a huge chunk of your health or well at least a little chunk of your health that was pretty unfortunate glad they fixed it Adjusted the sound effects of both water and red zone bombing. Party matchmaking is now influenced by the player's MMR, which is cool. So if you don't get that many kills, you'll kind of be going up against other players that are within your skill level. Adjusted long range blood uh, visual effects back to original colors. I never really noticed a difference, but okay. Improved visibility of squad member colors, yellow, orange, blue, and green. That I am happy about. Players can now use the right thumbstick to rotate their character model during customization. When customizing character appearance, the D-pad can be held to switch between menus. Preview is supported when customizing appearance or creating a new character. Items, they updated the design of the energy drink. Not really necessary, but that's cool. Bug fixes, we've got quite a few. So. Fix water sound effects. They fix the red zone disappearing immediately after it starts. Fix random character teleportation following initial landing. Fix an issue where some doors could not be entered despite appearing open. Fix issue of recovery and boost items being able to be used when underwater. Fix the character animations when transitioning from jump prone to standing. Fix an issue where earning BP would not function as expected. Fix Unexpected character death caused by falling while moving. Fix area of fencing where specific sides could be not could not be penetrated by bullets. Fix buildings with missing stairs. Fix bugs which cause objects to float in the air. Cool. Fix areas of terrain which were causing player characters to become stuck. Fix an issue which prevented team members being displayed following acceptance of an invite. Fix the issue of revive being cancelled unintentionally. Fix in animations when reloading and shooting the car 98 in a prone position. Nice. Fix the issue uh, limiting peak parachuting speed in first person mode. Nice. Fix character animations when moving from prone to entering a vehicle. In terms of optimization and stability, optimize textures, landscapes, and buildings throughout the island to improve performance, fix a crash occurring when HDR was enabled, fix a frozen character issue when reconnecting following a crash, fix a crash occurring when the player opened their inventory, 
fix the crash occurring when the spectated player was using a scope uh, and then we've got localization stuff so they applied new Russian Japanese and Chinese simplified traditional fonts um, Japanese only fix incorrect order of wording Portuguese fix the display of height meter when parachuting and then finally known issues B button incorrectly displayed to cut parachute cable this should be X when viewing the map the X Y and B buttons are fully functional please be aware that this can cause you to exit the plane or vehicle while in motion please only use the map button to return to gameplay until this is resolved so wow that was quite a bit so I really hope that after trying out the update this morning that we will see a lot of these improvements. I know that that was a lot to read uh, or sorry to listen to, but if you do want to read it yourself, go ahead on to the official Xbox forums for PUBG Xbox game preview and you will see patch notes number nine. Other than that, guys, once again, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. It's much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, consider subbing for more PUBG content brought to you from the Xbox One X. Other than that, have a great time on the battlefields and any more news or updates, I will bring to you guys the second I hear about them. Other than that, I'll see you soon in the next video.